then the last lecture what is some we saw the principle of transformer transformer a and the constant flux rate is been solved wrong and then we saw the classification of transformer based on the voltage levels right step up transformer step down transformer impedance matching transformer and then we saw isolation transformer right okay ipo nam enna paakapora appadina in the transformer la no load la irukumbodhu supply kodutom appadina let us see how it will react that is called transformer on no load right so there is no load but i am giving some supply no load appadina usually in our transformer see here i am considering two sides one is called primary side of the transformer another one is called secondary side of the transformer right now at the secondary side there is no load if there is no loads then this line is called open circuit line so the current taken by the that is current delivered by the transformer at the secondary side is going to be zero ampere right now in such a case when we are connecting the ac supply from the primary side that is alternating supply let's see what will happen right when the moment we are supplying we are supplying the voltage v1 v1 appadi the voltage engine connect panninga appadina it will produce some current that is called i1 right when the i1 enna panum appadina it will create some flux correct idu produce pandra flux la some flux enna panum secondary winding ku travel panum right some flux will travel around the primary right so idu nam leakage flux appdi solikalam correct okay now in the secondary side if the flux is now rendu winding ni cut pannum so there are two emfs that will be generated in your windings e1 and e2 next up on the secondary side since there is no load so current is going to be zero if a secondary side la current is zero then primary side la current zero aagum ana primary side la current zero aagad why why because secondary side la load e illa tiyum transformer ku la iruka hysteresis losses and the eddy current losses they are often called core loss so you should have heard about for transformer kuda ninga load correct panna appadina transformer still will consume some current yeah edhukka uh, consume panna appadina transformer la there is some losses that losses are called core loss in the core loss vandu epdi epdi irukum appadina constant ah irukum ninga load connect pannreengalo correct pannaleyo transformer supply kudutheengalo the losses vandu transformer la exist ah irukum and is always constant that is called core loss or iron loss of the transformer actually उंड <laughs> So, we need to know that see in the core loss, I think there are two losses. One is hysteresis and the eddy current losses. In the two losses, same there is a core loss. If transformer load the even though load the even though in the losses, only a few transformer load come. If a transformer load load come, then in the last there will be a current that will only consume. Apart from this, it will consume few more current that is called the magnetizing current. That means, now in the magnetic current, there is no load load there. Now, transformer the flux is not there. Clear? The flux is right. The flux is produced from there. That there is a current. Now. the magnetic current that is solved right so in the two current of center la total no load current appo no load la nam current eduthrom appadina so it will be sum of that is vector sum of winding current plus uh, magnetizing current right so there are two current now in the transformer la no load irukumbodhu this is the electrical equivalent circuit of transformer idha nam ethne paathaach right so in the in the two way na second la irundhu primary ku transform panniten i already told you whenever while bringing actually transformer eppadi irukku electrically isolated ஆனா இந்த எலக்ட்ரிக்கல கனெக்ட் பண்ணி வச்சிருக்கோம் செகண்டரி பார்த்தோம் பிரைமரி பார்த்தோம் நம்ம எலக்ட்ரிக்கல கப்பல் போறோம் அப்படினா செகண்டரி இருக்கிற ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் நியூ ரியாக்டன்ஸ் நியூ நம்ம செகண்டரில இருந்து பிரைமரிக்கு டிரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் பண்ணனும் ரைட் சோ அப்படி டிரான்ஸ்ஃபர் பண்ணா we can draw the electrical equivalent circuit in such a case what i have told you secondary இருந்து பிரைமரிக்கு வரும்போது you have to divide your secondary resistance by turns ratio that is square times of turns ratio similarly reactants also getting divided by k square clear that is how you are transforming that is called x s dash and r s dash anyway transformer no load la irukku appo no load la irundha appadina secondary ku pora current zero ampere ana primary la equal circuit nam varadhu kelli appo enna nadakkum appadina in the winding la irukka resistance right so this core resistance will offer us hysteresis and eddy losses there are two losses apart from this the primary la irukka winding la kelli appo winding la there will be one more loss that is called copper loss ana no load la irukkum bodhu since current drawn by the motor is very less approximately it is lies in between 5 to 6 percentage of 
full load current that is the no load current of the transformer so since this no load current is very very small so the losses that is copper loss also very very small so this losses is usually ignorable so in no load we are going to consider only one loss that is called core loss copper loss at no load usually is neglected or ignored clear next up, let us see the phase diagram of the transformer under no load for no load we will use like that see there are two current one is called magnetizing current another one is called winding current right so see there supply voltage from the primary line connect pencil correct so that is the equivalent circuit of the transformer right so from here i have drawn this line when we are going from primary supply voltage to the winding what will happen here i told you no load losses are being neglected here so i am neglecting these two components clear appo enna nadakum inga irundhu pora current that is called total no load current this is my supply voltage in the voltage appo simple ah drop out right so in both the windings the total voltage is vs and the bs can i say like that now see there here i have resistance resistance la pora current iw and this is my supply voltage in resistor the phase difference between the voltage and the current is 0 degree right so appo enna varum transformer oda emf equation nam ekkave paathirukom transformer oda eduthu usual of flux curve induced ava emf at the primary side 90 degree lagging la irukum right adukapram according to lens law induced emf ku supply voltage undu 180 degree undu opposite la varum that we know that is vs equal to minus e1 appdi solluvom right next term, the induced emf at the primary side and the induced emf secondary side rendume influx la dhaan irukum inga na na vandhu enna eduthukena enna assumption la i took step up transformer adanalada secondary la iruka voltage oda length primary la iruka voltage oda length oda adhigama irukku so here i am assuming that the given transformer is step up transformer right so next term, இப்ப சப்ளை வோல்டேஜ் இங்க இருக்கு एवरीथिंग वी नो फ्लक्स சோ இன்டியூஸ் எம் ஆஃப் வோல்டேஜ் மட்டும் எடுத்துக்கோ நெக்ஸ்ட் வாட் இஸ் அ வைண்டிங் கரண்ட் ரெசிஸ்டர் வழியா போற கரண்ட் சப்ளை வோல்டேஜ் ரெண்டுமே இன் ஃபேஸ்ல தான் வரணும் வை बिकॉज திஸ் இஸ் ரெசிஸ்டர் அப்ப வோல்டேஜ் எங்க இருக்கு அது இன் ஃபேஸ்ல வைண்டிங் கரண்ட் வரணும் நெக்ஸ்ட் திஸ் இஸ் சேம் வோல்டேஜ் வில் பீ டிராப் அக்ராஸ் தி ரியாக்டன்ஸ் வேரியஸ் மேக்னெடைசிங் ரியாக்டன்ஸ் இஸ் ஜே டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்எம் ரைட் அப்ப இது எப்படி எழுதலாம் சோ இட் கேன் பீ டன் அஸ் vs im j types of xm in polar coordinate it can be done as im xm at an angle of 90 degree appdi solla so it clearly denotes that the supply voltage 90 degree leading from the magnetizing current appo enna varum supply voltage inga irukku idu vandu 90 degree lead avum appo da magnetizing current inga da varum and remember one more thing magnetizing current will be the responsible for the production of flux so flux inga irukku adu in phase la da magnetizing current um varum next up with the help of parallelogram i am identifying the resultant current right so that is the total no load current so that is how a transformer will react under no load next up so this is the total no load current now idu vandu rectangular la irukke appo neenga polar current panina first you find out the magnitude and let me try to find out the phase angle that is become tan inverse of im by iw this is winding current this is magnetizing current right next thing the question vandu enna kekkanga appadina transformer no load la irukumbodhu frequency e increase panalo illa decrease panalo transformer la enna nadakkum appadi matta question adikadi ketterpanga see let us see namakku transformer emf equation theriyum rms voltage undu 4.44 times of 5 nf the n is the number of turns that is always constant 4.44 is constant from this i can say e is directly proportional to 5 into f or i can say 5 is directly proportional to e by f e e ingiradhu ulla induced ave emf adha consider pannadhu pora nama supply voltage um eduthukalam there is no big changes the one only difference is they are opposing each other so here i am considering only magnitude so 5 is directly proportional to v by f now i am fixing the supply voltage but i am increasing the frequency what will happen so frequency ning increase panninga appadina this phase that is this flux will decrease so <coughs> flux will decrease such appadina then what will happen flux will decrease such appadina flux production ku responsible are magnetizing current so magnetizing current also will decrease magnetizing current ning decrease such appadina see here i am reducing the magnetizing current when we are increasing the frequency appo magnetizing current vandu nam reduce pannom appadina what about this phi phi not also will be reduced right appo phi not reduce such appadina power factor will be improved right so appo no load la whenever we are increasing the frequency frequency increase panna power factor improve aagum right so that is the conclusion don't forget why we cast frequency um flux um inversely proportional when we are increasing the frequency flux will be reduced flux will be reduced pannom appadina magnetizing current will decrease magnetizing current will decrease ana phi not will decrease aagum phi not decrease such appadina what about cos phi not cos phi not will increase why sir phi um cos phi um inversely proportional phi oda value vandu nam decrease pannite porom appadina see that phi decrease pannite porom cos vandu increase aagite pogum so the power factor will be improved so this is all about no load of the transformer in the next lecture we will see the beauty of the transformer with the load right i hope you all understand the logic illa vera edach doubts irundha appadina you can ask in the comment section so thanks for watching our videos thank you all